Hi, welcome to Tech Tips and Tech Stuff. My name is Ron. And today I want to share with you a bug, but it's actually a feature in Vegas Pro 16 and 17. But when you run into this, I almost guarantee you, you think it's a bug. So say you import some media into your project media folder. And you're going to grab on it and drag your timeline. And all that comes there, just, I'll show you what happens here. Let's do Straight. Let's do it now. There. This is what happens. You get a little line like this on your timeline. And this is normal. But actually it is normal. Because what it's called, I didn't even know this was an actual feature in Vegas. It's exclusive to Vegas Pro 16 and 17. It was not in earlier versions. 13, 14, 15 did not have this feature. And what it is, it's called Project Media Hovering Scrubbing. And what this does, let's so do this. What it does, it uh, allows you to scrub through the video and just select a portion of the video and drag it to your timeline. But every time I ran into this, I thought there was something wrong with the import. There's a bug in there. So I would delete the, the file, re-import it, and copy it, and drag and drop it to the timeline again. And then it would work. And uh, I couldn't figure out what was going on. But it's actually in the user manual, pages uh, 68 and 69 in the user manual. It's in there. It's under, it's under that uh, section. Now, in my opinion, this is more of a bug than a feature because it's extremely annoying and uh, it just, I have no idea what they're doing. If I want to trim something, I'll put in the trimmer right here. I won't go and do it in the thumbnail. It's too small. But you can make the thumbnail bigger. Hold the control, key down, and using your mouse wheel, zoom in. This is as large as you can make it. Now, there's a way to fix this so it actually works now. You have an in and an out. So first of all, here we are. You have an in and an out here. If you want to drag this to your timeline, you have to go to the top here, grab it, drag this all the way to the front, drag this one all the way to the back, and now you can select it to go, you can double click it. You know, put the entire clip on your timeline, just put the cursor wherever you want. Or you can drag and drop the entire clip to your timeline. So, so, I have no idea why they made this a feature. Like, every single time I ran into this over the years, last year using Vegas Pro 16, I always thought there was something wrong with the import feature. But it turns out it's, it's a feature for Vegas Pro 16 and 17. And uh, in my opinion, it's a terrible feature. It, uh, there's no use for it. And there's actually no way to turn it off. You're screwed. You have to do this, play around with it, and uh, there's no way to turn that feature off. Hopefully in newer versions, they will get rid of this feature or have a, a way to turn it off so you won't run into this. So I just want to pass along this tip. It's, a, it's not really a bug fix. It's, it's, a, it's a feature fix. Uh, if you run into this problem, that's how to solve it. And I found it today by accident, by uh, reading the manual. And uh, <laughs> it's a feature. I just could not believe this is a feature. It's so it's such an unuseful feature. I have no idea why they implemented it. All your trimming should be done in this window here, in the trimming window. So I just want to pass along this tip. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe. As always, thank you for watching.